Salesforce.com is well known for its customer relationship management applications, but it's also a leader in the customer service management aspect as well. One of the reasons for this is the ability for not only to track accounts, contacts, opportunities, but to flip over into customer service to track things like cases, solutions, creating your own knowledge base. And Salesforce does offer a free self-service portal that you can set up without any programming to allow your customers to deflect their cases immediately through solutions or to log cases through the self-service portal. There is another offering, the customer portal, which does uh, require more configuration and a cost associated to it, which is much more highly configurable. Today we're going to walk through the self-service portal. Now in order to set that up, I simply need to go into my setup area and under app setup and customize, I can scroll down to my self-service area. Now in here, there's a couple different things we can do. We can manage and create our public solutions. We can create a web to case area. But today we're just going to stick with that self-service portal. In order to do this, there's three areas we're going to be touching on. General settings, creating users, and finally, customizing fonts and colors. I'm going to start off in the self-service portal by either going into the jumpstart area, which will pre-populate some basic fields for me, some basic um, uh, landing page information, or I can walk through the self-service setup from start. We're going to be doing this the long way through the self-service setup. I'm going to go in, click that, and then allow me to go in, create a, a login for my customers, maybe give me the ability to edit who the self-service users are, It'll show me the logout URL, so when they log out of the, uh, the self-service portal, where are they going to go? I'm going to set my default case origin to be from the web, so I can track how many cases are coming in. I'm going to enable solution browsing within the self-service portal, and bear in mind, you can set these solutions to be browsed either authenticated or unauthenticated in a public knowledge base. Once I've set those uh, different parameters, I can create how the um, email address will be uh, formatted for my customers. And in this particular case, we'll just have uh, support at salesforce.com. And who is it from? The uh, support team. This way you can have multiple users uh, accessing the same cases, but replying from a similar address. Anytime a new user is created, there's a default template that Salesforce provides you with. You can, of course, change this by creating your own templates. And the same goes for a new password. Now I'm going to uh, enable a notification on a new case comment. So when a new case is created, we can let the customer know that a case has been created, the case number, again, based on any template that you create, but you can use the default settings. And then I'm going to enable auto response rules. And these auto response rules can be set to automatically notify of any uh, changes in comments, uh, any kind of notifications that you may be sending out. Again, we can base this on a template. I can create the different settings. So how wide or high would I like the page to be? Is there a style sheet I'd like to use to match my own internal website? I can also create or work with different color themes. Finally, there's terminology. If you don't use the term case, perhaps you use issues or problems. You can easily change that here, as well as with solutions. Many people might use knowledge base. So you can change that right here without doing any programming. I'm going to leave these as defaults and hit save, and I'm actually completely done the initial setup for the self-service portal. Now before I can actually use this, I do need to set up who my users are. So I'm going to go down into users, and I'm going to create a new user. Now bear in mind, you can mass enable users, you don't have to do them one at a time. I'm going to go in and set up one of my users here for uh, Mark. I can see Mark Benioff here. I'm going to go ahead and enable this person as a user. Now there's two types of users you can create, a basic user and a super user. It really, the difference between the two is that a basic user will access only the cases that they create through the portal, whereas a super user might be a manager or an executive and can see all cases for anybody within their organization. So once I'm ready to set up this user, I simply hit reset password and I'm going to reset the password for this particular user. I go up into my inbox, I can see that I immediately have a new self-service password based on that template that we had created. Now this is the basic one. So I have my login and my password. Now before I can log in, I need to know what my login URL is going to be. So I go back into my settings 
and I can generate that login HTML. So I'm going to copy this, uh, this URL, simply open up a new tab, and I'll be able to log in with my username and password. Now because I am a brand new user, I'm going to have to reset my password. So when I log in, I'll take my old password, and log into the portal. Now you notice this is absolutely the bare bones. There's been no formatting at all. If I go into solutions, there are no solutions here. Even when I go into log a case, there are no fields that are available. So how do we customize this? Again, it's all going to be point and click. So I just go simply back into my settings and down into my portal pages is where I can change the user experience. So on the home page, maybe what I would like to do is go in and edit this home page to have a greeting. So I'm going to show a message and I'm just going to say, uh, you know, welcome to our self-service portal. We can also use merge fields. So maybe instead of just saying welcome, I might go into the contact and take the, uh, the first name and welcome contact first name to our self-service portal. Do a little formatting, perhaps bump up the size a little bit. I can change the color, um, just some very basic information, or I can use HTML. I'm going to leave this as it is. And then, of course, when it comes to registering the portal pages, I'd like to change the page layout. And if you're familiar with the uh, layout editor in Salesforce, this is the exact same thing. So I'll go in and select which fields I want to be in my case area. So we'll select these and take everything other than description. And I'm going to move my description down into an area where I can maybe populate a, a little more information. So we'll make this a uh, one section or one column instead of two. And now I've set up my portal. Now the last thing I might want to add in are any solutions. So if I want to have my customers deflect before they create a case, I can go in and say, well, let's recommend some solutions. So I have a, a solution here that uh, pertains to a particular issue, and I can select this as one of my top solutions. So now, when I go to log into my new self-service portal, put in my password, I can see that I have my welcome area. I have a top solution that's been suggested. So as the, uh, the customer, I can now go in, browse solutions. So if I have an issue, I can go in, search for that issue, find a solution that may uh, pertain to that, go in and have a look at the details for that solution and say, you know, maybe that did help me. If that solution does not help me log, um, uh, finish up my case, I can go in and log a case. And you'll notice now we have all of those fields on the screen. So the customer can go in, create a new case, check the status, and maybe just say I have an issue uh, and this is a problem and just say I have an issue. So now that this case has been submitted online, we have those assignment rules set up before where we can actually assign this to somebody based on product interest, geography, really anything that you set. And the user has the ability to go in now and say, well, if they go back into their home page, here's their open case. So now if we go back into Salesforce, and we have a look at our cases, I'll be able to see this brand new case that's been logged. So we have a new case that's come in. Obviously, I have a lot more information that I can see than the customer can because we might want to have a lot more private uh, information kept out of that self-service portal. I can now go into my solutions and maybe have a look at suggested solutions. If there are no relevant suggested solutions that can be uh, set up here, as I don't really have any solutions uh, set up, I can go back into the case and manually select a solution for my customer. So I can select this particular solution, add it into the case, maybe go in and put some case comments that I can send to my customer to say, we'll make these public and notify the customer and say uh, a solution has been proposed. And I hit save. 
A couple things will happen in the background. If I go back to my Gmail and I look, I can see the case has been updated. So I can click the link below and take me in to see the changes that have been made in my portal. Of course, log out, back in again. And when I go in to look at my case, I can see there are some comments that have been made here. I can see if uh, a solution has been proposed for this particular case. So I can now solve my own issues, report back and forth, comment back and forth with the customer, and make sure that everything is logged so we know exactly what's happening. Now you notice with this free implementation, there's been no coding. If I wanted to go back in to my setup area, self-service, and change any of the fonts and colors, I can do so. So I could go in and say, well, what would it look like uh, perhaps in red? And I'll get a sense of what the portal might look like. So you can easily customize this, or of course, use your own style sheets. Anything that you do here can be fully reported on. You're very easily, you can set up users. You can do this en masse. You can do it as self-registration. But the idea is setting up a self-service portal takes about 10 minutes and you're ready to start deflecting those cases away from your customer service reps, saving precious time and money.